Hi, Craig. Hi, Craig. How's your kids outside of the dead one? I hope they're still alive. They're just in um, a coma. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Still not good, but better than dead? Pretty sure. All right. So, last time, uh, Sarah had a weird dream slash vision uh, about a dead girl that she recognized from her college who died three years ago when Sarah was a senior and Mayburn was, no, when Sarah was a freshman and Mayburn was a senior, uh, they went to Sarah's college, uh, which we found out is the, uh, rival school of Dane's old, of, of the college that Dane went to, and, uh, the college that, uh, Odeus has, I uh, went to in the past. I uh, guys went to the school, checked out, uh, uh, checked out where uh, what Mayburn was doing at the time. For the most part, she was doing the same thing that she always does, which is re- which is reliving the day of her death. Uh, except she looked at uh, she looked at she looked up at the group uh when I believe Sarah started talking about her death, and. Uh, as she was walking out to leave the classroom, uh, her hand shot out and grabbed uh, Dane. You guys also want to go check out the site of her death because Sarah thought that uh, she that in her initial vision she was seeing the site of her death because it was next next to a kind of wooded area, but the trees were much too spread out in comparison to what she saw in the vision. So they have confirmed that that is not it. Uh, and the last thing I, that I believe y'all did last session was Dane tried to cast locate object on Mayburn's body. Uh, and he felt that uh, his spell was not connecting with anything. So that's where y'all are. And uh, Hope and Sammy. I want to go look for Kane, which is an NPC from the campaign that those characters were originally from. Who enjoys death stuff? Who enjoys? Who is a necromancer? She's really into death. Yeah, that's what I said. (laughs) Death stuff. To me? Yeah, on the way. So, um, oh, was that you? Yeah. Why are you on TikTok? Why you let me? Bye. <laughs> Tick tock oh. on the clock. DJ blow my speakers up. Do night. Do night. All right. Well, what are you guys doing? Rose. Just kidding. Um. I believe we still just be trying to find the uh location of death or something. Say that one more time. <laughs> no. Okay. I believe we'd still be trying to find the location of death or something. Uh, so. you, guys, you guys know where she died. Uh, but it is unclear how as her spirit just sort of disappears with no clear sign of distress. Hmm. And I couldn't locate object. And so in the way that it was described to me, Makes me feel as though they're not completely gone. Um, maybe I don't know. Uh, the way it was described last session is y- there is a difference between 
there's a difference in feeling between uh, your spell being out of range, like it is going out to latch onto something, but it's just too far, and there being nothing for it to latch onto. Okay, so it's just too far gone. No, it was this. Oh, cool. It was the second one where there was just nothing for oh. the spell to latch onto. Oh, cool, cool. So and there is. Good. No body per se, so that means that there's nothing to find, or that it's not actually a body that we can find. Because I imagine that like object wouldn't work on a living person or a semi living person, because that's objectifying women, and we don't do that in this party. Yeah. Um. I still love the quote from something of, like, can I objectify him? <laughs> I don't know what it was. The J Animations D&D campaign. I think so. One shot. Can I objectify him? Like, you have locate person. That works, too. <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> Okay. Let's see, what else do I have the ability to do? I can always cry. Um if we think it's a real person. What do you think the chances are that quite... you end up just trying to describe the ghost. Uh, we did. You guys did look at a picture of her. Yeah. Oh, I, oh sorry. I thought her? you did. Describe. Yeah, you guys saw a picture of her, which is how you were familiar enough to try locate object. Yeah. Okay. Well. That familiarness also gives me the ability to describe them. Um. Ooh. Oh wait, I can see or hear a particular creature I choose that is on the same plane of existence as me. Uh. So we can check to see if they're even on this plane. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, I'll scry them. Um. I. Okay. Just will we count the ghost here. as me have metting the target? You know, I'll say yeah. Okay, and then I've my connection is the likeness or picture. So they have a minus two to their save of wisdom save of 17. If they don't want to be scried, scried. if they do want to make a save, they have to, you know, make it. It's wisdom. Okay. Don't be scared. Don't don't not want to be scribed. Please want to be scribed. There we go. There's a simpler way to say this. You don't. Alright, so what do you they... discuss? Uh, it's 17, but they have a minus 2 to it, so I guess it's basically yeah, 19. It. Like, they have to roll at least a 19. Okay, okay so, so. We're testing this now are you waiting to go somewhere first? Because you're just sort of in the, you're just sort of like on the side. You're just sort of like out during the day. Actually, no, it's, you know, it's still during the day. Like out during the day on like the sidewalk of a college campus. A college that two people here don't like for two different reasons. I'm like, when you asked me to describe my character in that first session, I said I was wearing my college sweatshirt. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to point that out. Um, but no, I'm just doing it out here, and like while we're like walking and talking. So like, as we're like, I guess heading to last known location, maybe. Um, I'm casting this. I'm gonna say, uh, by the 
that, you decide to do that after casting locate object, which is after you've already gotten to the again last known location. So you're already there. Uh, yeah. oh, okay. All right. So do you? All right. Let me look at scrying because I don't know. If you, Okay, I'm going to assume that you... It just says a focus worth at least a 1,000 gold. I'm just going to say whatever your casting focus already is works perfectly fine. No matter how much. Um, it's it sentimental. Oh, duh. What is your casting focus? I can tell you. Um, I think it's probably... A, I think it's a necklace. Like, I have an amulet. Um... I think that's what I said it to. I never really focus on my casting focus first. Um, oh, the inventory. Um, where does it tell me? Oh, it's a crystal. I have a crystal as my arcane focus. Um, I. I'm going to say is in a necklace slash amulet type thing. Okay. So. As. As your crystal amulet glows a bit, uh, your vision completely fades out, replaced with, uh, you don't, you, like, see, like, it's a camera there, right? It's a third-person, like, point of view, so kind of, yeah. Uh, you see a, uh, hooded figure pushing a line of carts at uh you can look around and see at a supermarket chain named wind pixie uh if you you hear like normal noises for like being in like a parking lot so like you hear some cars you hear the sound of like the uh you hear the sound of the carts sort of like rattling around as they're being pushed uh, in a line together. If you want to get any more than that, you can give me a. Uh, you can give me a perception. either perception or investigation. Okay, it is a one point difference in these, and so I'm going to do perception. Uh, Twenty one. Okay. You hear sort of like soft, uh, if not soft music, but you sort of hear like sort of like bleeding out from, uh, assumedly like her headphones, uh, music playing from underneath the hood. Uh, and you actually get a street name. I'm not going to give you a street name because I can't think of any right now, but you do get essentially the you do see, like, far enough in the distance, uh, you, like, street signs, like, where this is. Uh, is there anything else in specific that you're looking for? Um, so this is, in fact, the girl, okay. Um, I guess I'm just trying kind of like map out the location in my head to make sure that when we get there everything's the same because mm -hmm. it seems like it might not like in my head like it's probably not going to be there so like anything that dates it like if there's like a um you know big summer blowout or whatever like any like deals that say like oh Halloween season's here, come buy your candy corn. Uh, this I I mean this is set in what is it? This is spring. 
not spring the season, spring the <laughs> the month. So this is in fall. Uh, so you are seeing like a few like uh like autumn specials. It's not quite October yet. Uh, so there's nothing like for like Halloween or anything. But you are seeing some like uh some like last minute like school supply sales. Uh. You know, school started a while ago, but they're just trying to still get some of the stuff, like, out the door. Uh, but you can tell that, like, this is, like, this is current. This is happening now. That's the game. Okay. I, I say that to my crew, my gang, um, my pals. Hey, we should go to Wind Pixie. Wind to Pixie? Wind Pixie. Okay, yeah. We should go to Wind to Pixie because I just saw something there. That... Oh, no, must... Actually, actually, never mind. You didn't grow quite high enough for that. Darn you. No, no, he did. He did. <laughs> oh, I was going to even bring. How... Even bring up if you brought up a parking lot, I was gonna bring up Wind Pixie anyway because that's where I saw her in a parking lot. But she's still on this plane, and she was pushing carts. So maybe she's she not dead. Them, was she pushing them? Into the rack or just into the middle of the sh of the like parking lot? It was into the rack. Okay, she's not a horrible person. Good. <laughs> no, she was taking them out of the rack and just scattering them amongst the car. And she was blocking people. In. She was killed for a good reason. Person... Maybe they don't long... deserve to move on. After how long do you keep scrying up? Um, it says 10 minutes, but I'm not, I don't know how well I can, I swear you say, like, oh, my, like, vision is, like, blinded when I'm doing this or anything, per se, like, they're, like, like, the B-sense or whatever, like, it says, like, you, your character is blind and deafened while you're looking through this creature's, like, senses, like, it doesn't say anything about this. So I'm tempted to say the full ten minutes. Are I you can not just like tuned in and out? You're not blinded and deafened while you're looking through your eyes. No, it doesn't it doesn't say anything about that on this one. Can, um, it just says you can see in here through the center as if you were there. That's yeah, like He's so old. It says on the... Jesus Christ. Okay, well, I feel like. I feel like it would be so overloading to have both of have to have all those things firing at once, but okay. Hey, I drove while having arcane eye up, which also doesn't have the thing about like blinded or deafened while you're looking through. <laughs> so you know, you know, like um, have you seen um like Toy Story three? Yes. Or like they're like with like. With like Mrs. Potato Head's uh, missing eye, and she's like always getting like distracted. She has to, like cover one eye to look through the other and stuff. It's that. <laughs> okay, in my head, it's like when you're doing scrying or arcane eye, you're technically not like blinded or deafened, but it's sort of like when you're like really deep into like a daydream, and it's like the real world is still going on in the background, but your main focus here is what's happening in your head. Yeah. I can just slip through them like channels on TV. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you stay there for the full 10 minutes. Uh, pretty early on, you see her push that last line of carts into the rack. She goes into the store, clocks out, not completely. You see, there, you see that they have like a digital uh, clock out uh, thing, like a uh, punching clock. Clocks out for her break. Uh, goes onto like the side of the store, uh, like un 
underneath like a set of stairs. And you see that she sort of sits there. Give me a perception check. Nice. Uh, 28. Uh, you see under... You see that she keeps her hood pulled down quite a bit. Uh, and then the rest of it is just sort of like... she. Keep, you also see that she has a face mask on. Uh, but she lifts her head just enough, thinking that nobody is here to see her. Uh, that you can see, uh, one, something that you recognize from the photo. I just see bright amber eyes, but they're sort of t- tainted. The color's a bit tainted with like splotches of red, both in the whites of her eyes and in the iris. And you see her, this, her skin, what you can see of it is tinted green. With uh, sort of uh, what looks like fresh stitches. Uh, not sort of like across her face, but sort of like a poking out a bit above her mask, what looks like fresh stitches. And they do not look done well. Does she have bolts in the side of her neck? And as well? You can't, you can't see. This Frankenstein? You cannot see. Okay. Hey. Do any of us have a car here? I don't remember. Yes, I think. I think we've just been taking Ravens. I believe I do. Because Ravens is in the shop. Um, right. I want to hold on. Who here thinks that their character would have a car? Dane, I already know that you don't. Can y'all hear me? I yes. Say it like that. Me. Uh, okay. I mean, Sarah probably doesn't have a car, but Sarah could probably get access to her car. Okay. Well, you guys do have access to Odie's car if you guys want to just take that. Like how long? How far away is it, per se? Odie, um, you went here, or Sarah, you also went here. I mean, I probably, I mean, Sarah probably could get a uh, access, um, um, access from here. But yeah. It's also, there's a decent chance we took Odie's car. Yeah. Um. Also. Um, do you live on? Does Sarah live on campus or no? Um, actually, probably yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna say, uh, from here, the one you look it up, the one pixie that you saw is a good like forty five minute to hour drive away. You guys are actually, like, if I mean, okay, you guys are actually, like, quite close to, like, the outskirts of, uh, of N. Uh, the wind pixie that you saw is in Wishan. Actually, hold up. Let me put y'all in a different, in a, let me get a different region. That way I'm not just putting you guys in the same two regions all the time. Uh, the wind pixie that you saw is in, uh, Zostra, which is sort of, like, up. You guys are sort of, you guys are pretty close to, like, the northern tip of Anne. Okay. Do you have the map pinned? Yeah, you do. Okay, thank goodness. Yeah. 
So we're still in East Area? Yes. You said we're in Upper Ann? Or in? Yeah. Currently you are in like the northern tip of Ann, uh, like an hour drive away from here. You guys will be like on like the outskirts of Zostrom. Cool. Okay. And that lines up with the address I saw in my scrying. Yeah. Like you look okay. up the address you saw in your scrying, and that is where it's you. Cool, cool, cool. Let's -a go. I mean, yeah. Uh, are you guys doing anything on the ride there, or are you just going? Or do you do anything before the ride there? Um, I do... Get snacks for the car ride. Okay, noted. I don't can't really think of anything. I'm going to take Gabe muting as a no. Um. So y'all go, you get there, it is very average. Uh, you don't see her immediately in the parking lot as you pull up. We don't see her? Yeah. Where's this damn ghost? I mean, it was, it was like in that heart. Oh. Pretty, yeah. It was still, yeah. My question yeah. still stands. Just because it's not here doesn't mean I don't get to ask where it is. Oh yeah, no. Oh, it could still be on there. break. Or be on a uh, cashier bagging duty because those are usually. Mixed in with people, if they're if she's working, that is. Uh, Sarah, give me a wisdom save, please. Okay. That is. There we go. Uh, that's... 13. Sorry, uh, no, uh, 18. Okay. You don't get anything. Okay. All right. Uh, but yeah, you guys don't see her immediately if you want you can give me perception checks pretty sure that's one to that but i'll do it anyway okay, so uh, that's a nat one <laughs> i'm not gonna make uh, you deafen but if you think that it's <laughs> if you think it feels right no it's i it's a bit <laughs> I'll talk to y'all later. Uh, 12. 12? Okay, none of you get this anyway, so Zap can just come back.
Wow, so quick. Yeah, none of them rolled good enough to get any information anyway. Um, Y'all suck. We got a 5 or a 12. I got an 11 with my nat win. Damn! Yeah, I have a negative in perception. I got a 3. Damn! Now I are struggling. Yep, we are. I rolled a six and got a five. You oh. only roll one insight. You have Can never we, you have to fail a vibe. I'm the master I of say... uh, Let's go check the um. Uh, the, the what's it called? Uh, the the check in, sign in sheet, but job. The I forgot what clock? it's called. Time clock. Yes, yes, time clock. Thank you. Yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> I would say when you were scrying, you did see that that is in a employees only area. Yeah. I could, could still be here. We just I don't have just, just go see if she's inside first. I mean you can always ask to see it. You could pretend that we're here to repair it. I or we can pretend we're employees. You're right. Or we Fun could just walk. distract everyone and just walk in. Well, if, yeah. if they're confident at security, they won't give us that because should not release uh, if whether or not someone's there. Um, like on the schedule, even if they're not employee. Multiple reasons. But anyway, let's go check. Big one. Okay, so when it was employees only, was it like a key code or like a pass card? Just, or was it just a sign? It's just a sign. I can't read. <laughs> they need have like a maxed out intelligence. <laughs> they don't know that. Alright, I was looking for the bathroom. Plus three to deception, which is you not were looking for the bathroom. I have nothing in deception. Uh, I, I got nothing. Steps, so as long as I can get like my eye on the room, I can just get in there. Wait, you have what? Misty step. So as long as I can get my eye on the room, I can just get in there. It's a place that you can... Here's the thing about what Dane saw. You can just walk in. It is just, it just, It's just a sign that says employees only. There's nothing stopping you from getting in. Yeah. The door is open. <laughs> yeah, it's just an open door. We just act like we belong and no one's going to question us. Yeah. That's how someone stole from my work the other day. Exactly. It was me. You've admitted you're an old man. I mean, like, two, I have dimension doors, so, like, we could just walk in and then dimension door out. Yeah. But, like, I can only take one of you. And so one of you could run distraction. Well, right now, we just... I can still miss these steps, so you can just take them and then I'll teleport my own way. I mean, like, you have to see it, and so, like, very light. Yeah, to the outside. And Dimension Door is just, um, a direction. But anyway. Yeah. Right now, at least, let's just go inside. Because it might just be, we could just walk in, and no one's gonna even care. You're right. 
entirely depends on who's working with you. If whoever's working with you is being stubborn, that's actually wow. so quiet. That makes so, sense. I didn't change the setting my phone is on. How's this? Much better. Wait, I can just have an illusionary double and cast mislead. Again, I'll, right now, yeah, I know. let's just go in. Let's just go meet up some people. I know we're, I know grocery we're store wizards. I know, I know we're wizards. Not everything has to be magic. You're right. I have a quarter staff. I'm not a wizard. I. Well, we're all casters here. I tried, to, I, I, I tried to stress the we to be um, Dane and Sarah. Um, I'm an artificer, which there's the artificer subclass, so I guess I might qualify still, actually. You want just... wizarding. Like, yeah. you're, like, professionally, you're an artificer because mechanics, but you did go to a wizarding school, so there is some claim that you are a wizard. Sorry, you're just an engineering major. Yeah. <laughs> went to a nerd school. <laughs> Became an engineer. I went to like Harvard and what? Did okay. There, which is like it's it's a good school. It's not Harvard. Okay, I'm sorry. You went to uh Vanderbilt. I'm so fucking close of saying the school my brother goes to because it very much is a oh yeah that's a really good school but it's not actually Ivy League. Good school, not Harvard. Like I'm, I was so close to just saying oh we went to insert school name here. Uh, I mean, like, you could have done that and just never told us that's where your brother went, and we would have been none the wiser. I'm more not nah, here's the thing. I'm, I've told y'all, I'm more here about Craig. Yeah, I'd say I'd say Bard College, but if it wasn't uh, so much a like liberal arts college. I stand by Vanderbilt. Um, that's in Pennsylvania, which is where this is vaguely. Is it Vanderbilt in Pennsylvania? I think it yeah, is. Yeah, that, okay, that does explain why it sounded familiar to me, because I didn't know why. University of Miami. The Ohio one. The Ohio University of, okay, I'm not going to question it. Oh, yeah, there's a University of Miami in Ohio where uh, Ben Roethlisberger went to college. I remember being like, oh, he went to, and then he went to play for Pittsburgh? That's funny. Because cold, I mean hot, then cold. And then I was like, then I learned that it's in Ohio because of the office. And I was like, oh. <laughs> so he just went from cold to ever cold. All right. Well, <laughs> you guys are here. What are, you, what are you doing? Just walking in, seeing if, like, you know, they're <laughs> sweeping or anything. Any other jobs that people do in a grocery store? We're here for an interview. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> you walk in again. You don't see her immediately. Realize with the way I'm dressed, I could probably pass off as a janitor. Because I'm, I'm just wearing clothes that are meant to cover myself from getting grime and shit on me. Are your clothes covered in grime and shit? I do, in fact, have like not shit, but grime on me, oil, grease. I would like to mention that. Like, 
I'd like to mention the fact that this is a decently sized store. It is not so big that you wouldn't recognize most of it. Like, Also, they are wearing uniforms. Yeah. Here's the thing. I work in a very small store. The other day, someone just walked in to the employee's lounge and used the microwave, and people didn't realize that they did not work here until they left. We work at a small store. They just did it. This is like a big store. And so, you know, this is like your Obilo or Publix, or I'm guessing. Like, I'm basing this off of this, off of where I worked before, where I'm currently working. I'm at, like, I'm basing this off of my last job, where it's like decently sized store, but you, but you basically work the same shift every, every single time. Like, there wasn't a lot of variation in the shifts that people working were working. So even if you didn't know anybody else, you most likely recognize people because they were always, because like they were always there with you. Cards were in the same place, right? Like, yes. Okay, so it's not like a situation where like they move. It made it seem like they moved the cards, but actually. There were different cards. I don't know. Okay, cool, cool, cool. The cards line up. We asked to speak to a manager. Uh, I think we're... I'm recording right now. No. No. You're like... No. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> I want to tell me something. Um, like you know. This is me and Elijah are best buds now. Just can't know. I think Let's say, when did that? I'm not totally sure. He doesn't hate you. He thinks that you're funny. Good. Because I am. Um, I'll fight him otherwise. <laughs> Um, just gonna I won't fight Elijah. Yet. I fight him every day. This is fine. Yeah, no, that's what we tell you to do. Um I always tell you to fight um, the children. But are you guys asking for a manager? Should we? I feel like we just walk in. I feel like we should ask our manager and then, like, you know, ask them, hey, what do you know about the ghost that works for you? I feel like if we get caught, we could probably use that to, like, bombard them and co- confuse them. Or we could just ask them, and if they were like, hey, get out of here, then we can, you know, just. That's fair. Just you sneak. Know, sneakily investigate. Sounds like we should plan. do this the legal way first. Um, and so, yeah. Okay, so are you... What are you doing? I I'm asking for a manager. Okay. Uh, you guys go up to a cashier. Like white room we are. No, <laughs> You said, like, the white women we are. (laughs) You guys go up to a cash, to a sort of short uh, goblin cashier. You can see that her name tag says Rachel. Uh, She doesn't really seem to register that you walked up for a second. She's just sort of, like, leaning on her, uh, like, leaning, like, where, like, in the section where the bags are sitting. Uh as you sort of get like like fully in her line she looks up uh there Hi, I can help you. um 
I think she looks confused for a second and looks like, oh, right, I forgot. I was wearing my yeah. name tag today. Yeah, uh, okay. Okay. We know how to read. Um, yeah, I don't he, always... He says, hi, Rachel, and I just look at him like, you have the audacity to speak to a cashier like that? As someone who works in customer like service, person? don't fucking say my name. Don't say my no. name. That's my name, not your name. You don't know it yet. You haven't asked me. All right. No, you have a name tag on, and so that the implication is that you want me to know your That's name. That's because it's mandatory. Question. That's because yeah. my boss told me to put that on, not because I wanted you to know my name before you even had the chance to ask it. No, that's the point. I'm trying to catch them off guard. But yeah, you do see that. You do, in fact, catch her off guard. She, like, looks down. She's like, oh, fuck, right. I forgot I was wearing that today. Uh, sorry for cursing. Uh, is there anything I can help you with? No, it's okay. Be cursed too. Say a curse word. Fuck. <laughs> Thank you, bitch. Quitters. Uh, <laughs> why it's quitters? Just a curse word in my head now. <laughs> okay, you said enough curse words. I said a curse word, not all of them. Dick shit. Okay. Abracadabra, you know stuff like that. Let's talk about magical curses. You best. Avada Kedavra. Uh, that's the only curse I know from Harry Potter. Uh, I say short and giant. What? Um, you see, like, vague recognition on her face. And a bit of confusion. Cool. Um, we'd like to speak to your manager. You're not in trouble. It's not because you cursed. We're cool with cursing, as you just saw. Um, uh, is, there any, is there any specific reason why that I could maybe help you with? Um, Do you know that the... Should we just say it? It's about... I mean, like, I would rather speak to a manager. We could just say, I, like, you know. I mean, if they have information, that would be useful. Yeah. It's good to talk. Okay, do you know about the ghost that Girl's works here? Uh, we don't have any ghosts, I believe, and um, that I know okay, of. What about the dead girl that currently works here? You s- okay? Give me an insight check. Uh, and Sarah, give me another wisdom save. Okay. <laughs> Um, Plus unnatural for insight, one. That's a dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. Damn. For insight, unnatural one. Yes. Okay, unnatural one. Insight. You have now you have failed a vibe check, Gabriel. This, this was not the same kind of vibe check. No, this is a vibe check against a single person, not against a group that might want to kill you. This was also not a vibe check of take a step back. I want to learn. This is like a vibe check that's like uh read the room. Yeah. During the conversation. Yeah. Um Archie, what was your insight? I thought you should uh, make a wisdom save. Both. So what was your wisdom oh, save? Okay. Okay, so the wisdom save was twenty seven. Uh insight is twenty two. Twenty two? All right. I don't know about uh, you. All right. Uh, Odie and Dane, you see a bit of conflict go across her face as she, and you can tell it's sort of like a, I don't know if I'm supposed to tell you. Odie and I get the same thing? No, not Odie, Sarah, sorry. <laughs> I was about to say, I, I, I got something. <laughs> So, here's the thing. What I rolled is a I don't have to leave the call, but I still get nothing. You still get nothing. Oh, uh, yeah. Dane and Sarah. So. <laughs> I was like, he got an unnatural one. I got an unnatural 20. <laughs> Two very serious different the sides. Opposite of the ends of the spectrum. <laughs> I got. I, I rolled a two. <laughs> Okay, okay, anyway. Imagine Dane. if I said I rolled a three. 
Okay, we're not going to talk about that right now. We're not going to talk about the fact that one of my characters has a negative two in wisdom. I said, imagine if I said, I, I rolled a two. I only have a minus one. Yeah, I have. Yeah, I have about, about having a horrible intelligence. <laughs> no, <laughs> or wisdom. Val, I'm sorry. Val has a negative two in intelligence. She can roll a three and get a one. Sorry, but insight is wisdom. Ooh. So, like, you could have still done well. Okay, I'm pretty sure I have a character who has a six in wisdom, but I can't remember who it is. Her name is Rose. <laughs> anyway. anyway, Dane and Sarah. Uh, you each see, you guys both see like a sort of like conflict go across her face as she's sort of like, I'm not, and a sort of like, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to tell you about other employees. Um, do you know the name of the person that you're looking for? Yes. Um, the character oh. does. So does Maybe my character. The player? The player is a different story. Mayburns. Thank you. Uh, I don't think we have anybody named Mayburn. Uh, do a okay. quick description. Um, because I don't really remember, I don't remember how they look or if that's been I described. fill in with how <laughs> I just saw them. Yeah, uh, hooded mask. Um, you know, okay, like I will that, um, how uh, Mayburn's picture is. Uh, this sort of like uh, bright red, like curly hair, uh, bright amber eyes, and a sort of like tanned, freckled skin. And very sort of like, not short, she was, she was like relatively tall, like 5'6", uh, but very sort of like small framed. Uh... Do we still have the picture thing on us, or did we leave that? It's on your phone. It was like a memorialized uh, Instagram. Oh, okay. I hold that up as well. But I also explain how they look different now. Like, they're green. Like, a greenish hue. And stitched up. Huh. Uh, and you're sure her name was Mayburn? Yes. That's what we know her oh, as. A different name? Uh, what did Odie say? Do you know her by a different name? Uh, I mean, that kind of, uh, hold on. Uh, that, I mean, that kind of looks like Maddie, but. Is Maddie oh. working here today? Uh, yeah, she, uh, she's, like, taking out trash right now. I don't know if I'm supposed to be telling you about my coworkers. Um, it's fine. We're going to find out eventually. I mean, we were going to ask We were going to ask the manager. You could just bring the manager over, and then you don't have to worry about, you know, giving information about coworkers. They can okay. just give information, and it can be confirmed. Like, yeah, I, I would just say, if you want to not get in trouble, just get the manager, and we'll just talk to them about this instead of okay. you maybe saying something you shouldn't have. Yeah, that's probably yeah, a good idea. We won't say anything that you've told us. Um, Thank you. I, I just have to ask first because we're not really supposed to call them unless it's something we're not able to handle by ourselves. Uh, but yeah, give me one second. Uh, and you see, like she. I don't think you can handle this by yourself right now. Considering on how you I might get in trouble. Uh, but she sort of like looks around. She's like, "God damn it, where'd they go?" Okay. Uh, once again, you see, like she leaves her register, goes over to where it looks like the podium for uh the self checkout is. 
uh, gets on the phone, just, uh, can Miss, <laughs> uh, can Miss Dawn come to the front, please? Thank you. Uh, she'll be up oh, in a You can just go stand by the front. Okay. A uh, couple minutes passes, and you see... Wait, wait, before... Before, uh, like, when the cashier comes back, um, Miss Dawn, is that first name or last name? Honestly, I'm not completely sure. I've only, I've only been introduced to her as Miss Dawn, and I have called her the same thing ever since. Okay. Why? No further questions. I'll get my answer in about a couple minutes. As the DM, why? Because this leads me to believe that I have said something that I've forgotten. I have a sister named Dawn, who is in the cult. Ah, uh, yeah. So you wait a couple minutes, and definitely not your sister comes walking up. She is a bit of a uh, bigger and sort of both senses woman, you know, she's kind of like, she's definitely curvier, about, uh, about like 5'10", uh, definitely, she's taller than I think two of you? Or probably uh, like the six one taller than another. I'd Sarah's 5'11". I have no oh, okay. memory on how tall I am. I think you're like five. I, eight. Both me and my sister. I think yeah, both me and my sister are like five eight or something like that. Okay, she's taller than one of you because I'm pretty sure Odie is in like the six foot range. Yeah. Yeah, so she is like a bit taller than Odie, ever so slightly. No. Or, not Odie. Fuck. Uh, Dane, ever so slightly. Uh, is shorter than Sarah, and a good bit shorter than Odie. Uh, it just sort of like uh, lo- like longish brown hair, uh, tied into a ponytail. When you can see like the tips were dyed at some point, but it has since faded. And she, you can see that like, she's like looking at uh Rachel as she walks up, and Rachel just sort of points to y'all. So she looks at him and goes, "Is there anything I can help you with?" Yes, we're um wondering about your current um the current status of your employee, Mayburn. Um Maddie. I apologize I'm not able to give out uh information about our employees. Is there anything that I can help you with? Um Are you aware that they're dead? Okay, uh, if you've come here to interrogate us about our employees, I suggest you leave. Uh, I have a question. Have you heard of insert school name? Yes. It, I, she's been haunting that school for a while since she died three years ago. Uh, everybody give me a perception check, please. Uh, 25. 17. 13. Uh, who got 13? Sarah. Uh, is that for a wisdom save or perception? Was that what? Is that for a wisdom for the wisdom save or perception? Perception. Uh, did you? Was you I keep supposed having to do? make wisdom saves. Uh, <laughs> I did. Yeah. They have a spooky ghost haunting them. Right. Twenty. Twenty. The okay. um, wisdom save. Okay. Um. Odie and uh. Zapdos, you see uh, a sort of hooded figure pushing 
uh, a sort of big bit. Kind of a, not, it wasn't a wheelbarrow. It's basically a wheelbarrow. It's sort of like a big plastic wheelbarrow uh, outside, uh, like, tor like through some of the, uh, through some of the aisles towards what you're guessing is the back of the store. Yeah, actually, no, not that you're guessing. Towards the back of the store. Can you guys hear me? Yes, yes we can hear you. Okay, I'm not doing anything. Well, I didn't think I've noticed uh, anything. I, I'm doing a quick internal debate of... You know, I'm going to cast... Sorry, just a message from Mending, because I entirely forgot. I just know it starts with an M. It's probably Mending, but I might have both. I don't know. It is Mending. I le quickly lean and whisper over, should I just... Do we just go... And talk to her. Hmm? I just lean over to uh, Dan, yeah. Dog, yeah. Dane. Dane. I, I lean over to the. Actually, no, you're short. I lean over to the one who's closer in height to me. And be like, hey, should we just go and talk to her and just skip she the manager? You do, you do hear as you're doing that. Uh, if there's anything else I can help you with, uh, you're free to shop the store, but please do not. We are not able to give out information about our employees. Uh, if you are not also an employee here, so unless there is anything else I can help you with, I'm going to get back to work. Okay, wait. I have to roll a self control check for a very specific reason. No. I was going to ask for a job application. Yes, I, I rolled above a 10. I, I do not ask for job application. I will hand my own car. It's like, if you have any car trouble, here you are. Uh, good mechanic, five stars. Sure, I think I'm pretty much Eh, uh, four and a half. <laughs> That's fair. That is, that is my actual rating, but it, it's close enough to five stars that I get away with saying five stars. Yeah. Now, but, the extra, the spare half a star is because of the dogs. Um, yeah, people really like the dogs. No, that's what's knocking it down. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. I look uh, over. And you see malice in my eyes. <laughs> All right, poison in your eyes. Uh, the hood figure is still going. Yeah. Uh, so should probably go grab while we're here. Also, grab some hot sauce. Yes, indeed, and ice cream. I feel. Why do I feel offended by both of those? I don't know. It's just hot and cold. It's like... I don't know. I feel like I should be offended for some reason. Let's just go. Yeah, I just like... As a person, not like Sarah, I just like hot sauce. That's why it came to mind. I do like hot sauce as well. Um... That looks pretty good. I was like, what's something random that I can say that, like, shouldn't go with hot sauce? And if they question too much about our inclusion of just two items, they're going to be so grossed out and confused. Nobody cares what you guys are buying. Okay, Many years you get rope, a shovel, um, bleach. Um... Uh, do you have any bags that are about the size that would go on a human head? I don't actually ask that question. These will do. I'm pointing at the grocery bags. So, 
Have any uh, lighter fluid? So, who wants for actually? Give me a perception check. Y'all took so long. They're gonna have to find her again. We've been making jokes. We're actually leaving. We're not taking as long as we're taking in real life. Nineteen perception. Okay, and it's not gonna be hard. But she did like sort of go into the aisle, so you you did lose her for a second. I got a six on perception, and if I need it, it's also a six on wisdom save. Because I don't know if okay. that's applicable Thank you, Sarah. right now. I was going to hey. leave what I was doing to find my character sheet. Like, my oh. perception isn't a minus one. I got a ten. Okay, only Dane sees her go into the doors that lead into, like, the warehouse part of the store. I was slightly wrong, by the way. It was it would have been an eleven on the save. Okay. I forgot. I forgot. I have a Some saves. Let's see. Yeah, Dane, you hear his parents to the back of the store. I just go through the back. Uh, you guys keep following her. It does take a bit of time before you catch up to her you see she's like uh tossing uh trash bags into the uh chute uh as you catch up to her and you see uh a headphone wire leading from her uh hood to her pocket interesting i have uh mag i'm like trying to like wave and like flag her down um this is all saying, uh, Maggie. Maddie. Maddie. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, her name, uh, her back is turned to you, and you can, like, hear music leaking out from her headphones. You can see that it's pretty loud. Cast message. Uh, pardon me. Uh, see, she, like, reaches into her bucket, pauses the music, and just sort of looks back um uh you do see that she's like keeping her head sort of like angled down a little bit uh uh yes did you guys get lost the bathroom isn't back here um no we aren't lost but we do have some questions and the bathroom is noted um wasn't that one Huh? I, I isn't. I'm just pointing at. There's very likely a door back here. I'm just gonna point at it. it just, isn't that one? Uh, no. That's where we keep uh, our cleaning supplies. Ah. So if we do go in there. It'll be easy to clean up. Well, that's... Uh -huh. I, I look with like a anyway. weird look in my eyes again. It's just like, why do you keep saying these words? There's a weird voice in my head that like just loves bits and saying random things. I'm going to assume that's Zapdos and not Dane. Yes. This is uh, Odeus looking at Dane. Does Dane respond? No. Um, <laughs> you're just staring at him. And you like turn your head to stare at him and you're just still trucking on with this conversation. Uh, <laughs> I'm not paying you any attention. I'm sorry, but I don't think you guys are supposed to... I don't think you guys are supposed to be back here. Okay, well then let's just ask you a couple questions and then we'll be on our way. Uh, okay. Okay, so. Um. You're dead, right? Um. That's. 
why are you asking me that? Because uh, you look exactly like a dead girl, and when we scrying the dead girl, you end up got being the one scried. Yeah. And I think I have some weird connection to the girl, and I saw her pushing carts here or here. What looked to be it was at least a wind pixie. Uh, yeah, you do also see like if you look down at like her arms and hands, uh, it's basically it's the same thing. Bandages, uh, with these sort of like tattered uh sleeves. Yeah, and like, like the ghost her and the like the actual her we saw doesn't have that. And point at the bandages. Um. I don't own uh, a dream, either. Uh, Sarah, give me another wisdom save, please. Okay. Uh, 18. Okay. Oh, no, what, I, no, what else is weird, weird I, that I completely forget about? I have advantage on wisdom saves. Okay. So, it's still an 18. Well, this is never good. Um, Give me an insight check, though, Sarah, specifically. Okay. That is a 16. Okay, you feel like a sort of tug on the back of your mind. It doesn't feel malicious or anything. It feels more like... uh, It feels more like right before you get, like, like right before someone casts a message on you, like one of those. Okay. Okay. And now something's trying to talk to me. I'm not getting anything, but something's trying. Um. Uh, I think you got. Can you? Okay. And you see, like she looks around. There's nobody else back here. Um, I don't know what you guys are talking about, so can we just leave? insight immediately? Just insight, insight that in, insight so hard. Uh, <laughs> yeah, give me the roll. Fourteen, seventeen. Okay, give Thank me God my party members don't have a negative in insight. All right, so it's fourteen seventeen. Uh, Sarah, what was your role? I didn't. Uh, Are you insighting, or did you just not roll yet? Uh, uh, not good. Not gonna on this. It's yeah. You can always and give you... the help action. You're not giving insight. Okay, it's fine. You guys both pass. She's very obviously lying. So we both know that's not. We we all know that's not true. You know what we're talking about. Actually, I will also give you this. She doesn't know what you're talking about when you say you look exactly like a dead girl. But you definitely see... But a, she knows that she's dead. She doesn't know what other dead girl you're talking about besides her. Show her the photo of, um... Magpie? Mayburn. Mayburn? I so better with names. <laughs> She's murdered the Vino over again. Um, Except it's not me this time. You know, I think I did well on the Vina. You did so well with the Vina. I don't know what's happening. It's not in the title of the thing. I'm not going to call her Erga. Erga. No, no, no. Call her Erga. Erga. I'm guessing it. Erga. Erga. Hey, can you call Nio real quick? Or Neil? Which one? Neil. It is Neil. Yeah. My god name is Neil. 
Yeah. It's a hundred percent Neil. You want me to call Neil? Um, so me that up. was more of a joke about how we mispronounce things. Um. <laughs> I'm foaming at the mouth right now. Um. I don't know why you are just correctly pronouncing names of characters. Yeah. Sarah, give me another wisdom save, please. I'm trying to distract us from this conversation. Yeah. Also, I'm be right I'm... back. Okay. So that is a ten. Hold on, hold on. You got a ten. Okay. Either way, either way, you're fine. Uh, for a second, oh. do you see yourself? You see, you are looking at yourself from the angle that Mayburn is at. And when you snap back to your vision, yeah. you see that she is visibly shocked and surprised. Yeah. Oh, are yeah. you dead? They mean the dead girl? Oh my gosh. What <laughs> the f*** is that? Something weird. I don't understand. And I don't like either. I don't oh. need to be seeing me. I promise. Oh, also, you hear, like, sort of, like, again, it is a very familiar voice. You have heard it a couple times at this point. Uh, the voice of Mayburn's ghost cat. I can't do the voice, uh, but Mayburn, the Mayburn standing in front of you right now, the one in the hood, her voice is sort of kind of raspy and a bit gargled. Uh, but the voice you hear in the back of your head is a lot clearer, though whispered, saying, bring me my body. Oh, okay. Okay. So, she... What the fuck was that? What? She, you, wants, your bo- <laughs> wants you back to her. I know none of what I just said makes sense, but it does. Trust me. Okay. Yeah. What? This doesn't make sense, but actually it does. Okay. Okay. I am on the clock. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. You are off the clock anytime soon? I'm not telling you that. Please leave. I mean, Why did my brain thing just gonna keep on happening happen. until we figure this out? Like, you telling us to leave isn't gonna fix the issue. There was no issue until you guys got here. Please leave. No, there I... was an issue before we got here. You just weren't necessarily aware of it. You guys have to be aware of the fact that I, that you, that you guys are three people who are, who have me essentially cornered in a part of the store, that there are no cameras. There are cameras. I wasn't aware of that camera part. This specific area. We were, I wasn't aware of most of that. I, I feel like the fact that we're in the middle of a regular store. You guys are not in the middle of a store. Someone could probably walk in at all. You guys are in like, Again, in the back of the store, in a sort of corner where the trash chute is. This is not a heavily surveilled piece of, like, corner of the back. Well, if you look- we did not mean to do that, Which but is- it just so happened to have happened. It- I also want you I- guys to give me just, like, either history or insight. Okay. Um... Yeah. Nat 20 on history. Let's go. 29. I do okay. not know my bonus to history, but I'm pretty sure it's be- be- it's going to be better because it's an intelligence-based thing. Yeah. Um, also history. Uh, 27. 27, Nat 20. I rolled a 19. Okay. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to have proficiency in this. 
Currently 14. It might be higher in a second. One second. It's all right. Take your time. Like I have a 14 or 18. Yeah, I'm supposed to have proficiency in history. So 18. Yeah, so 18. Okay. Um, <clears throat> all of you know this. Uh, Zapdos, you're not 20. There's not a lot I can give you with this. You're not 20. can carry over to advantage on your next roll. Uh, but if she is indeed dead and a you know, still looking around as a zombie. That is not a safe situation to be in. Cool, cool, cool. Um, but I know how that's not a safe situation to be in. People don't like zombies. But that's it. It's just like a racism thing, not a like a oh your your body is going to decompose without a soul type deal. Damn There's a little. Okay, here's the thing. Their bodies... Actually, you know what? I, I will also give you guys this. Their bodies are sort of... Not necessarily decomposing, but... The main reason that she and everybody else seems to be very reluctant to be like, Oh yeah, there is a dead girl here. Is zombies face some of the worst discrimination in the country. I am tempted to say in the world, because there's not really a country where zombies are fully welcome because they are not a natural race that can be born. They are purely like and unlike vampires who are basically the same way they don't blend like they don't look pretty they don't blend in well and instead of just like drinking blood which it's still gross don't get me to most people don't get me wrong but on, it's sort of like in, like the eating, like the drinking blood thing has been like weirdly like romanticized or sexualized in some ways. But the eating flesh thing has de- absolutely not. On top of just like the very aesthetic differences between vampires and zombies, which makes zombies vastly less uh, desirable compared to vampires. And they also don't really heal all that well, unless they are being magically. They don't. Their bodies won't heal on their own if they are damaged. They have to sort of stitch themselves up, put themselves back together, unless they are being magically healed. And any wounds that they had before dying just don't heal. No. What was that? Sorry. Uh, I wish I gave you some Okay. Um, do I know what would happen? Has there ever been a case of um, and being put back together? Like a soul and a zombie, per se? Uh, no. Not any, but that not 20. I'm, I'm going to give you no. Also, since we have been able to give you sufficient information, never mind on the advantage thing on your next roll. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. Um. Hey, look. Wait, was it Maggie or Maddie? Maddie. 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 We're not trying to hurt you or, like, you know, make you scared or anything. We're just trying to help you, and we're trying to help uh, Bayburn. Um, I don't know who that is. But like, they know you. I'm pretty sure. Okay. They're they're saying at least that. You're their body. I I know it doesn't make sense. Do you have any memories from more than like three years ago, per se? Uh, three years ago? That was how long ago Mayburn died, right? 
Yeah. I only have yeah. memories of them two, three years ago. You see where the dots are connecting here, Maddie? We're not trying to, you know, you know, like upheave your entire life, but we're just trying to reconnect you with the one you've already had. All right, I I get off in an hour. Uh, I just I don't, I don't know if you want to come back later or wait. I get off in an hour, and if I don't start get back, are you a bowling alley? Ian. Uh, and not around here. I mean, there's like a wall down the block. There's like a five guys up literally across the parking lot. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. No, Freddy's. There's like a Freddy's across the park across the parking lot. Oh, I don't want to spend five nights there. Um. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Okay. We'll we'll be around whenever you get off, and we're going to see about you know helping connect you with Mayburn, if that's okay with you. Yeah. Uh. Okay. I'll I'll come get you guys when I get off. Uh. Do you guys you guys drive? Cause I catch the bus. Yeah, no, we can drive. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna die. Um. Anyway, I'll I'll see you guys later. This is. Uh, give me just like a quick insight on her, if you want, if you're looking. Ten. Uh, thirteen plus. Six. Um. Twenty-three. Uh, Nineteen. I said thirteen. Or nineteen. I said if you said thirteen. I said thirteen plus six. Thirteen so plus 19. six. Uh, Gabriel, what did you get? Thirteen. 13. Just thirteen. Uh, Zapdos, you see that she has the face of like I have just made an incredibly dumb decision. Uh, are you guys doing anything in between uh, now and when she gets off, or are you guys just hanging out at the small sort of like restaurant across the parking lot? Just kind of chilling. Just chilling. Chilling, but specifically, I'm going to make a phantom steed as a ritual and just have it run around the parking lot. <laughs> that spell take? Takes so as a ritual it takes eleven minutes. Um because it's a minute plus the ten minutes ritual. Okay. And it lasts just, for an hour. Okay. Describe your phantom steeds. Um does that have a name? Basically uh uh, what's the, what's the name I was looking for? Uh, just gonna straight up steal it, Shadow Facts. Um, and it's basically just think Cloud Horse. Nice. Okay. So your your fantasy is just sort of running around out there for the hour. Uh, yeah. and eventually. Mayburn does come into Freddy's. Uh, it's a Freddy's. fast horse. The, is that your? Is that your horse? Is that your horse? Did you make a horse of clouds? I, 
Well, it's made out out of quasi real um, shadow material, but yeah. Why do I understand those words? Okay, let's just go. Yeah, it's just gonna dismiss it. Uh, do you guys mind if we stop by my place? I need to change my bandages. They're starting to soak through. I've got no problem with that. All right. All right. Uh, once you guys get in the car, uh, she puts her hood down. Uh, she puts her hood down takes off her mask, and you can see fully the scar that sort of runs from, like, the bottom, like, right underneath her eye, uh, down to, uh, slightly past her jaw, uh, to right above her neck. Uh, okay. Um, just to go out here. Yep. And you see, like, she does, like, cover up her, uh, her hands anytime she, like, goes to touch something. She covers them up with her hoodie sleeves. Uh, alright, uh, you guys can come in if you want. I just, my landlord is just kind of weird, so just don't touch anything. Uh, you guys walk in and you do see just like a sort of grumpy looking uh older woman as you walk in who's just sort of in the kitchen uh mayburn just sort of nods to her uh they're with me they're, they're not going to be here long they're just grabbing something and leaving out again and you see the old woman just sort of like slowly nods before going very back awkward wave you know, like the white people face where, like, they like extend their yeah. lips. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I she's... will also white people face. <laughs> she does it back at you guys and goes back to what she was doing. Uh, Mayburn leads you guys into uh the basement where you see like just some blankets set up sort of like next to the water heater with a sort of pile of discarded bandages uh discarded reusable well not discarded but sort of like just reusable a pile of like sort of dirty reusable bandages uh off to the side I've been, don't mind those. I just need to, I've been meaning to wash them so I can use them again, but have not at the time because I've been at work. Uh, just one second. And you see she takes off her, uh, her bandages and you see under it the, again, the sort of tinged, uh, also you see like her hair, uh, out. It's not the red that you saw in the picture. Instead, it's been sort of, like, dulled to, like, a slightly, like, brass brown. Like, there's a bit of red in there, but for the most part, if you were to look at it, you'd say it's brown. She unwraps her hands. You see, like, that same sort of, like, green skin, black fingernails, and sort of, like, there is, like, sort of a light layer of, uh... So this sort of like brownish liquid covering like the tops of her fingers but you see this sort of main place it's piling up is uh, sort of around her finger and you see she goes over to the sink next to the washer and dryer washes off her hands Puts the bandages with out uh, into the pile, uh, and just grabs a roll from the massive blankets and starts rewrapping her hands.
is saying anything, doing anything. My voice cut out for a second. Damn. Sorry. Are you doing anything? Do we yeah, just I feel like I'm just kind of waiting here. <sighs> All right, I'm good. Um, let's go. Uh, actually, Sarah, actually, you guys can all give me a history check. Sarah, you guys can do it with advantage. Or Sarah, you, I don't know why I said you guys. You can do it with dis, not disadvantage, advantage. Twenty two. You win one. A history check. Um. Twenty one. Twenty four. Okay, so you guys all can very obviously tell that this isn't something that you need the history check for. Uh she obviously is a zombie. Uh zombie isn't fully the correct word. Uh the word that is actually Zombie is sort of kind of derogatory in a, in a way. Uh, what? Is that good? It's good. Uh, the sort What's of correct that? word to use is a... Like weird feedback coming from your um, bike or something. Yeah, the sort of correct word to the correct word to use is Shaba. And which is spelled as. Uh, hold on, let me put in the thing because it's one of the. It has one of like it has like the weird A with a line over it. Hold day. No, no, not hold day. Um, accent. Yeah. No, it's a today. Yep. No, today is the little wiggly one. That it's the wiggly one, yeah. Yeah. The correct word to use is Shaba, which I'm gonna say you guys all know because you all got above twenties is a old so it which is a old tongue word meaning breathing dead actually no not breathing dead living dead sorry Rough. more just live dead Ooh. okay so it's Um, I mean, I guess get ready for the drive back. Yeah. Or... All right. Shoot. Is there anything you guys talk about? Anything you do during that drive, or no? I'm gonna try and give the the least obvious. Look at her neck. Give me a stealth check, and then I know it's it, just... exposed. I'm not gonna make you roll perception, but give me a stealth check. Slight of eye check. I mean, okay, fifteen. What are you looking for? Are you looking for bolts on her neck? No, no, I'm. <laughs> the, um, no, this this is see if there's anything besides that scar on her neck, um, or the the big one, um, that goes down to her neck, because of yeah. the memory of some a sharp pain in the neck. Yeah, you see, ah, oh, Jesus Christ, why does that hurt? What the fuck? 
whatever. You see the scar and sort of like right up, like right below her jaw, like at the top of her neck. But you do see like some bandages, like uh, like a sort of like thin line of bandages wrapping around like the base of her neck. Yeah, that's really it. Do you gonna ask her about it, or are we just gonna keep going? Right now, we're just gonna keep going. Okay. I'll ask her, like, what all, like, if she remembers how she came to be, what that was like. I'll add the preface, like, if you don't want to talk about it, that's fine. I mean, I just sort of woke up in a pile of trash bags. And with this hoodie, and that was it. Nothing was, like, in your neck or anything? Uh, no. I mean, I have this, like, sort of, like, small puncture wound at the base of my neck. It just sort of bleeds a little bit every day, sort of like my hands. There's a good chance... You were stabbed some sort of needle is my best guess right now. I mean, that was my guess. I mean, at first I kind of thought, I mean, you know, there's like always the chance that I was like bit by a vampire right before I died. But it's only the one puncture. So, you know, needle makes the most sense. Uh A hillbilly vampire. Um, and you actually do realize that uh, Mayburn, uh, her spirit just did sort of have like a baggy hoodie over her. You guys can't couldn't see a color because it was just sort of like a wash of blue, of like translucent blue. Uh, but uh, well, I guess Sarah, from what you could see, just like a wash of translucent blue, but. She was wearing a hoodie. Like, you so did you wake up near the wind pixie? Uh, no. I mean, like I had that, to do area, not like like directly near. I mean, I don't fully remember. It was three years ago. I just sort of remember wandering around i was in the rain for a good i like i was in the rain for a while because i didn't have anywhere else to go uh you know being exposed to the elements isn't exactly great when your body doesn't repair itself yeah i i guess at least yeah it just if, if you were k- killed at the call at the at um, that's kind of far to essentially dump a body. Like, not to, but no, I get it. Like, it's a, it's a lot. Like, I will say, I did wake up. I did wake up in uh, Gial. I didn't like we're going, like we're going towards Anne right now, right? Yes. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't wake up in Anne and then, like, wander over state lines. I woke up in GL. Very interesting. I'm raging right, but we're not going to talk about that. Excuse me. Uh, but yeah, so, I don't, I don't know, but, uh, Shaba, we, like, we don't always like remember the first couple of hours after we first wake up and it's you know sort of like like there are different types of shava uh like there are the sort of like really low functioning ones that are kind of considered vegetables you know they have like enough 
brain, like they have like enough of a mental capacity to be able to stand. But outside of that, all they really know is uh, consumption. And that's sort of why people don't like us. But then there's also the sort of like mid-functioning ones who kind of have some cognitive ability, but not enough to be fully functioning. And then there's, you know, high-functioning like me. But even us, we usually have uh, like a lower mental capacity than we did when we were alive. Uh, memories aren't usually, I don't think I've ever heard of any, like I've done a little bit of research when I like fully put together who I was. Uh, I don't think there's any record of any Shaba fully remembering what their lives were like before. Uh, but like when we're first, you know, woken up, like we sort of go through all the stages, like all like the sort of levels you know, like first we're incredibly low functioning, low functioning, and then we go to mid functioning, uh, and then during those times we don't retain we don't retain any of our memories from the previous stage. So once we make it to high functioning, then we are just sort of wherever we left off. Okay. So on top of the years that I am missing, I'm also missing, I'm also likely missing like a good couple of hours of just being out. Okay. Well, we hope that, you know, connecting these two parts will help complete you. Give you a whole. Thank you. Thank you. You guys keep driving. You get to the school. Um, give me uh, give me a perception check, everybody. Do you want? I'm black. Fourteen. It's not a hard. Twelve. It was a DC ten. You guys all got this. Uh, Sarah. At first, you are sort of like leading the group as the person who knows Mayburn's schedule and knows where she'll be at this time. Uh, it's about I want to say, uh, two o'clock. Uh, two two o'clock two thirty. So Mayburn is. You would know Mayburn is on her way to her last class of the day. Uh. And as you're leading them through, you see uh, Maddie sort of overtake you and start leading the way herself, not even really needing any verbal instruction on where to go. And you see, as you guys keep walking, getting deeper into campus, uh, you guys all start to notice a blue light up ahead of you. And Sarah, you know that that blue light is following uh, Mayburn's exact schedule. Uh, and as you get closer and closer to this blue light, uh, you can start to make out more and more of its more and more of its form. As it starts out as a sort of uh, just sort of blob, not even that you were too far away from it, but it just wasn't fully formed. And it starts to sort of congeal into a solid shape that you recognize as Mayburn. And Maddie falls into step next to her, eventually mimicking her exact posture, exact uh, exact speed, matching her every step and even her hand movements as she walks. Mayburn walks with like her thumb tucked under the strap of her bag and Maddie grabs her hoodie where that strap would have been. And just sort of stares as she walks. And people st and like other students and even some like faculty members that you recognize start to sort of 
uh, they don't close in on her, but you see a crowd start forming around her as people take take out their phones and record. And right before she gets into the right before she gets into the school building that she is about to take her final class in, uh Mayburn falls just a step behind but reaches out and touches sorry, Maddie falls just a step behind and reaches out and grabs Mayburn. You see a blinding flash of light that forces everybody to look away or take damage. As and I and as that light dies down, Maddie is only left standing there. It's so hmm. Uh, Sarah, you feel a connection in the back of your mind. Sever. No. Okay. That's good. Maddie? Uh, you had it. Yeah. You had it right the first time you guys tried to talk to me. Reaver? Yeah. Do you remember everything? You okay? I am not sure. <sighs> okay. Um Okay, there are a lot of people. I, okay. I don't know how to address this. Uh, but you do see uh, the crowd is also sort of frozen in shock. Some of the cameras have turned towards you as uh, she, as Ma as Mayburn begins to like acknowledge and talk to you guys. You. Can you sit down for a minute? I would like to sit down for a minute. I would also like to not be recorded. Be recorded. Can y'all? I get that this is a lot. This is also a lot for me. Can y'all leave, please? And do you see like some of the crowd disperses, but not all of them? Okay. Great use of this. I'm gonna go up. How how big is this crowd? How big do you need it to be, Sarah? One second. I need to check the exact number. Uh, I can only do five. Never mind. That's not really a crowd. Well, I can set one of them on fire. About getting my dog. Oh yeah. I I mean, one of them you can just summon out of nothing. 
Yeah. Can I say my other dogs have just been in the car this entire time? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So two very, two pretty big uh, mechanical dogs and one not too big, but still pretty threatening looking mechanical dog. Just all up here. Uh, barking at everyone, telling them to leave, getting them, trying to get them to leave. What were your dogs again? It was a pit bull, a Doberman, and a Greyhound? German Shepherd. German Shepherd. A lot of... German a lot Shepherd, of... Doberman, pit bull, uh, Roger, Dodger, Jeff. Roger, Dodger, Jeff. Jeff is adorable and we love him. Uh, Jeff is the one who tackled me, right? I think Jeff is the one that tackled you, yeah, because that's the one that was that that is that able to talk through. Uh, give me an intimidation check with advantage. I'll give that to you in a second. Okay. All right, on the die, it's an 18, and in total, that is... ...21. Yeah, you... The second they hear barks in the distance, the crowd disperses easily. And any stragglers are definitely gone by the time the dogs are actually in sight. Yeah, who let the dogs out? Who? 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 Actually, stop. Make a wisdom save. I want it noted. My car was definitely locked. The dogs know how to unlock the door. That's doors. a dirty twenty. I, I know. I'm just saying for the the other characters, the the car was definitely locked. The dogs just casually know. I mean, like, if you, if the car is locked, if you pull the handle from the inside, it will unlock. Oh, that'd be car. What car are you talking about right now? A Most lot of cars. modern cars. A lot of cars within the last 10 years. I've never been so in many, a car that did that. So it's many cars have the thing where, like, if you pull the handle, it unlocks the door, and, like, you pull again to open it. Because, like, as a safety feature, like, you can't trap someone in the car. Like, unless it's, like, child lock, in which case it doesn't do that. But child lock just doesn't open the door at all. Yeah. Heard of this feature. Uh, this is the first time I'm hearing of this feature. This is news to me. Okay. That's weird. Uh, but uh, also, a lot of car features are things that are added in, or that you can have added in. Like cruise control technically doesn't come with every single car. You just add that in as a secondary feature. Depending on some stuff. But yeah, as once the crowd is dispersed. Uh, you see Mayburn just sort of sits directly on the floor. Uh, yeah, once, you know, once people dispersed, um, gonna go into what's probably the hoodie, like, pocket pouch thing, and start pulling out some stuff, a little sheet of lead, uh, a little bit of glass, uh, some uh, piece of cloth, and some powdered crystal and begin to cast oh. something. It's going to take 10 minutes to cast. Okay, what spell is that for? Mordekind's Private Sanctum. Uh, she it's... sees you pull out those items and she goes, it's fine. It, this is fine. Uh, it's also like have some questions about stuff in the future. This is both pre- 
this is both short term privacy and also preventing I can people we potentially can just, asking some stuff or yeah, seeing I some we, stuff. I don't want to see. We can just go if you don't want to like waste the materials. I know we can what just, the wizard was these, against. Oh, put your feet down. What are you? Why are you in here? Stop sitting on the baskets. I don't know, this won't waste them. These are just like channel in it. It's not used up. What? And she's sleeping? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Ugh. I was laying in a way where like half of my body just hurts to move. Alright, give me a second. I'll be back. Excuse me. Oh, you're casting a a uh abjuration spell. That's nice. Yes, I am. Yeah. I'm an abjuration wizard. I have one spell. One abjuration spell. One abjuration spell. And it's remove yeah. curse. This yeah, so. this one it's well this is also kind of a weird one to have anyway. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's really just a bunch of privacy. Um, I have because it uh I know it's funny, actually. What's that? Um, is I also have non-detection, which is abrogation as well. Oh, look at oh, and pro- over... protect protection from good from evil and good. <laughs> what kind of wizard are you? I am a conjuration. I have a bunch of conjuration okay. stuff too. Yeah, I have time. some conjuration. Like I have. Oh, that's the evocation. I definitely have a conjuration spell. Um, wait, no, I have two abjurations. Globe of invulnerability is abjuration. I can actually use that one. Um, oh, hey, I got that one too. Uh, this is necromancy. Evocation, evocation, divination, illusion. Is that divination? Is that, is that illusion or is that abjuration? Conjuration. A far step, which is conjuration. Okay, that's what I thought. Is that what you were also talking about, or? Uh, no. Um, I was checking if um mirror image was illusion or abjuration because it's. I illusion. was pretty sure. I was pretty sure it was illusion, I but illusion. I could see it being. It is illusion. Yeah. Because, like, it's basically the same thing as mislead, but mislead has the bonus point of uh, being invisible. Like, you turn invisible. You know, mirror image is the one that makes multiple, right? There's, like, yeah. three extra of you. Yeah. Alright, I'm back. Welcome back. You're just comparing you. uh, spell sheets. Nice. How um, Archie's a better uh, abjuration wizard than me. I find that endlessly hilarious. I have 14 conjuration spells. And... Spells. Don't hit, and then I have...
My brother keeps texting me from my mom's phone. Hmm. He's literally up to the What did you say? He's saying good things. Is he like pointing yeah, at like, uh, nose picker? Yeah, he's like, earlier he just said, good night, I love you. And I said, I love you too. And then he put the thing of like, oh, this is Elijah. And then he just said, thank you for getting my sister to go upstairs. I have six abjuration spells. I have two. Uh, but yeah, so Mayburn goes, I'm, I'm good to leave if you don't, I mean, okay, you know what, this is, this is fine. We should talk, and when we do talk, I'm gonna do this. I can wait. Okay. It can, this, it can be now. This is fine. Okay, just give me a little bit. Um, so... Uh, how big is the like room we're in? You guys are out. Sorry. Okay. I'm just gonna straight up do a hundred by a hundred foot cube of this just area. Um, and that's within the area. Actually, no. I'm gonna do like a no. I'm not gonna do a hundred by hundred. It can be because it can be the smallest. I'll do like fifteen by fifteen cube. Which seems like a decent size. Uh, is that actually before you do that? She goes. Do you know if that uh that one weird classroom towards like the back, it like on like the third floor is still abandoned? We can go in there. That way, there's less chance of. I mean, there's well, a decent chance. So yeah, sure. Yeah, is this a thing of like? Can people still like accidentally like walk through it? I yes, they can. Yeah, that way there's like less of a chance of people walking through it unless. Well, it would that's... appear like of just this. It would just be this big cube of dark and fog in the middle of wherever we are. Yeah, the someone's probably gonna put that out as like weird to like security. Let's just let's let's go. Yep. All right. Now, as you guys go in there, you cast the spell. <sighs> okay. I don't know why that reaction was necessary. What reaction? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm, I'm worrying about you. Let's continue with the thing. Okay. All right, so you guys cast a spell. You have your space. Okay, so I ask. So it's done for us to ask questions. What'd you say, Zaptus? I said, oh, okay, so it's time for us to start asking some good old questions. That's what I was assuming. Okay. Um, yeah. So, you want to go or you want me to go? You can. Um, so do you remember anything about 
night you passed the day. I'm not entirely sure about the time frame. It it was night. I was walking back to my dorm from the library. Uh, all I really remember is like a hand over my face and a sharp pain. I'm assuming the needle in my neck. And then after that, I wake up, woke up in a pile of trash bags next to a dumpster. You. You. Yo, yo. I said ew. Oh, ew. I thought you said yo. Like letting us know. Yeah, it was it was definitely gross. Not as gross as the rats, though. Ill once again. But yeah, I I don't remember anything from that. Does does like the name Yerga mean anything to you? You see her visibly tense up. Why? Well, apparently, they burned down a library, but are also a very dangerous cult that are doing stuff, burning down a bunch, uh, burning down a bunch of stuff lately. They've they've been yeah. doing a lot of shit for years. Um. Okay. It... Oh. All right. So this is why you guys came and got me. Okay. Um. We got you because Sarah was like having a weird connection thing with you. Um. Well, th- th- yes, that is also true. Like, if that I mean, had happened weird. to me, I would have looked, but sooner I would have looked into it. Uh, honestly, kind of surprised it didn't. If it was gonna happen, I mean, it's kind of uh, foggy and muddy. Uh, uh, but I think you just sort of hit me on your way out from like you have like you have to go through the ethereal plane to get to the afterlife, and I think I was like halfway in the ethereal plane and halfway here and you just sort of hit the part of me that was in the ethereal plane on your way back from the afterlife when did you go to the afterlife sarah so it wasn't so i don't i contacted another plane to talk to this sage professor guy Oh, Professor um, Warren. Yeah. It, um, to ask some questions. Um, it didn't go exactly right. Like, it wasn't as bad as it could be, and I've, like, technically had before. Um, but, like, not... I don't use the spell a lot because there is a risk of going insane whenever you use it because your brain doesn't like to go through the planes like that and contact things that way. Like it's one thing to be communing with like a god or something. To, like that's like a that's a com- it's communication. This is send your send consciousness through another plane and then kind of hope you talk to the right people. Yeah, and it doesn't really connect you in the way that like a warlock patron bond does so there's always yeah. a chance to just get fully overloaded with information and just it was really weird when I did it that one time spent the entire my friends well my friend 
upset that I spent the entire day acting. She said it was like a combination of like a cave woman and someone high on bronze and cocaine. Not a great time. Okay. Oh, wait, hold up. I'm reading about your spell thing, and one of these sounds familiar. You're reading about so what? Uh, Archie's spell that they put into um, chat earlier. So I'm just now seeing it. Um, they just put it in VC chat. We're yeah. talking about this third part about it sounds familiar to me personally so if you're saying i don't think it's not exactly the we same, know because they've teleported it in. Were, never mind you were able to get in like this so here's the what this would have done to your arcane eye i think it's arcane eye um would have just prevented it would have been like a wall to it whereas they also teleported that, in and so yeah. Um, like that one. Yeah. So I don't believe it would stop. Like it wouldn't. This this shouldn't, at least in theory, destroy a sensor if it was able to get in. It just technically shouldn't be able to get in. And the way it got in doesn't match up with what it says because there's nothing to teleport into or out of the warded area oh Which... uh, you can choose this it can it, you, oh, you can, can choose it doesn't it doesn't have to be all of them yeah okay it is you decide what um any any or all of the following so oh, okay it is possible i just am doing all of them okay cool, cool. But yeah, it's, it's um, yeah. any like, I guess advice you can give on dealing with them, or like what they're doing. I would advise just not dealing with them and not interacting with them and avoiding them. Okay. But I have and a feeling you're not it's gonna... too late for that. Okay, okay, okay. I have been in a state of not paying the fuck attention for three years. Has, yeah. Please catch me for anything that's happened. Okay. Any so, significant? Um, we have a new president. Um. I meant about Yerka. Okay, so they burned down a library and a clinic and other stuff as well? Question mark? Other community centers type thing. Um, Sounds there was... Specific. Wasn't there... Didn't we learn plans for another one? Like town hall or something? Is that a thing? I don't remember. I also, I, as the DM, don't remember. You it should. Like there was, I should. Here's a, a, like, told Gabe that there was plans to do a never hit or something. Yeah. If anyone like does a town know, hall it would be OD. Or, yeah. That is true. Oh, oh yes. We're gonna go with it. 
That sounds familiar, though. Like, maybe making it, like, I don't remember, but it sounds right. Um, that does not like about <laughs> It does like something you would do. Uh, That's you know, a, you hate I, community centers. Don't forget um, or or you know kill everyone. Okay. 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 So, burning down community centers, that's not new for them. Might be planning to burn down Town Hall, which is way bigger than how they normally go. And you said that you were in. Okay. Break, please break down for me. Yeah, she turns to. How you managed to begin infiltrating them? I walked into one of the buildings and said, let me join, and they said, sure. I have to be, there has to be, I have to be missing something there. There has to be more than that. They said they liked my gumption and then let me join. And th basically, that's it. Was your recruiter? What? Do they know? You don't. They don't tell you their name. Did he? He just let you join like that. He might have. Whoever the recruiter is, do you know someone named Don oh. Ian, perchance? Uh, you seem to know a good bit about Yerga. Um. I would say Don joined very recently. She did not join three years ago. Okay. Uh, um, also, that recruit, like, recruiter might might also be dead, as for a note. Uh, they were taken by a vigilante-esque person. Yeah, they just kind of appeared. Yeah, there's some, some weird lady. That someone that we know knew, but didn't really go into it. Um, yeah, it's I don't. Do you, they're not do here get... right now because they went looking for um, different oh. reality. Uh, Odie, you get a. Do you think you would have exchanged numbers with the recruiter? He would have asked that way he can like keep in contact with you for when you need like transportation to a service. Yes. Uh, you do see a text from him uh, apologizing for not coming to get you for a service for the service today because you did. I do believe that you guys said like agreed to do one today. Uh, you see, a, like your phone pings as you're talking, and you see a text from him. <laughs> Apologizing for not coming to get you, saying that uh, they have been busy celebrating the return of uh, Sanctus Core. Um, be real, I don't remember a service supposed to be happening today, but also I was kind of half asleep that session. Yeah, well, that happened anyway. You don't have to fully worry about the fact that there was supposed to be service because it didn't, he, like, he didn't come to get you anyway. So that's not fully important at the moment. Uh, if you want, you can give me a history check. Just because there's something that your character would know. That I don't know if you're remembering because you were half asleep. 26. Uh, Saintus Core was like the main subject of the 
initiation. Was like, yeah, she was like, not the initiation, but she was like the speech that he gave. She was like the main topic of. Like a big part of, especially like the end was, she will return to us, like return to us, St. Just Core. All right. Wait a fucking second. He said the return of Saint. Sorry, he did. He he didn't pick me up because of the return of Saint Discord. Yes. Uh. I don't. I don't believe things. You got a um, question? I am pretty pretty sure that we that that something is wrong. Unless Sanctus Core is the vigilante Alana. That could be it. It could also just be her texting me. I'm just gonna text back. Are you the person that kid? I should I text back? Are you the person who kidnapped this dude? No, you said that the topic of his speech was Sanctus Core ruining everything or something, right? Yeah, coming back. Coming back. So Sanctus Core is Alana. Alana. Alina. I feel like she's not uh, supposed to actually be Saint Discord. I think she is Saint Discord. Am I allowed to insight roll the text message? Uh, explain to insight me what you are... connected dots. And explain to me what you would be looking for if you were to do an insight, like the specifics on what you're looking for. Uh. Who the fuck is lying to me? I, so I'm looking for... Because, like, through text, there's no, like, body language to... Re- yeah, I'm trying to think of a way to phrase this. Um... This is less me insight- inciting the text, more me inciting the speech. And is the... Like, is Saint Discord a person... Or more likely a deity of like it, I'm pretty sure the return of Saint Discord is not. Oh yeah, this just lady coming here, and is more likely something big, like the return of Jesus Christ type thing. I'm I'm inciting the speech to see if just a lady coming would be Saint Discord's return. Okay, give me a insight. Yeah. I'm going to say DC 17. I got a 9. You got nothing. Yeah, I still have a negative to insight. So. Oh, wait. Could I I, just. Was the prophesied return? Or is it. Because they said that she was here before. Um, And also, uh, you guys can give him the help action if you want. Okay. Maybe. Religion. Actually, hold on. How much of those are you communicating the speech that you heard to Mayburn in the text? Uh, sure. Uh, the second you mentioned that, uh, the second you mentioned any sort of re- return of Saint Discord, you see her eyes go wide and she just goes, "Shit, okay, this." Okay, so we're fucked. Um, okay, that's... here's the thing. This guy got kidnapped a few days ago. Yesterday. This guy got kidnapped yeah. yesterday. I mean, if he was kidnapped by Saintus Core and he is a member of Irga, he probably sees it as an honor. 
And also, if she's back, we're fucked. Uh, Who and is Saint Discord? Saint Discord. So, five years ago, she was initiated. Not five. Seven years ago, she was initiated into uh, Irga. And she she was everybody's favorite, I guess. Rose the ranks very quickly, got people to trust her very quickly. Uh, and then one day there was uh, there was an alarm poll that uh, the cops' beds were essentially coming to their compound. And so everybody fled the compound except for her. And then when everybody returned, the children were gone and the building was on fire. And everybody, and they took that. Because she was so favored as a sign that, as a sign, you heard the speech. They give the same speech. Have you heard the speech? Unfortunately, I've heard the speech. Yeah. Uh, you that, also remember? Huh? Yes. You also what? remember? I uh, was but... by choice. I, I'd like to reiterate that I have basically been half asleep for a large portion of this campaign. Uh, so don't blame me for not fully remembering things. No, it's fine. I can send you the. I can just send you this. Because Odie was taking notes. It Okay, I'm not going to lie, though. A lot of it also is just like, it's the speech, and then also some just, like, narration. So I'm going to send this to you. It's not good, though. Don't judge me. Honestly... I only got vibes of that time frame, not details. It's fine. Again, I'm sending this to you. Don't judge me because it's bad. It is bad. I, okay. Okay. It's not my best work. I've, I did this in like an hour. Uh, but that's the speech if you want to read that. Uh, the main part I want to focus on here is the fact that when the preacher was, you know, preaching, he was talking about how she sort of, like, broke them down and destroyed, like, caused destruction upon them, forcing them to rebuild themselves as the goddess will. I think if I can find the line, I can just re-say it. I feel like calling them would be a good idea. You feel like what would be a good... What? I feel like calling him would be a good idea. It might. Saying this out loud. In and out of character. Yeah. This is me being like, hey, fellow people, should I call him? Hey, also, I can. I found the line. If you want me to re-say the line that she is mainly referring to here, as the you read the line, and after the whole, like she burned down the building and took the children. Sounds like a plan. Uh, there are. Hold on. Uh, when the day comes that everything ends, we must remember that we will end as well. Though our souls will be saved, our bodies will be sacrificed, and no one has given us a better reminder of that fact than Saintus Cor. Using the gifts granted to her by the goddess herself, she burned our old church to the ground, forcing us to start anew, just as the goddess will. She sent our children across the country, spreading our reach far and wide. All this after she sacrificed her body to the destructive power of the goddess. Okay. Saint Discord 
destroyed them, made them start from where one. And they took that as a sign that she, that, like, they, they look at St. Just, St. Just Core, St. Just Core's will is the goddess's will. If St. Just Core does something, it's because she is working on the behalf of the goddess. And this goddess is one of destruction, per se? She is the goddess of destruction. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's not good, good, good. I, as I would, I say this because I am opposed to contacting him in any way, shape, or form, but I advise against calling him. And if they're, and it's unlikely that he'll pick up anyway, if, if they are celebrating the return of Saint's core, nothing is going to break their attention away from that. Here's the thing about this. The reason I think calling him might be a good idea is because if the person who kidnapped them is Saint Discord, or is Saint... Basically, the dude who came with us gave no incantation. Indication? I'd really like it if Brain would let words... Brain let words continue. Ah. Indication. I'm having to start from the beginning real quick. Okay. Uh, okay. The dude who came with us said he knew the lady who kidnapped her. Which either means he didn't know that the lady who kidnapped her was Saint Discord, or he did and he didn't tell us. And then there's actually a third option, so either really wasn't the rest pick and words aren't still doing things properly. But third option is just friend got killed, Saint Discord saved the, the dude. We got options. If we describe what Saint this what the person who kidnapped them looked like, would you be able to tell if it was Saint Discord? I've I mean I've only seen her in the porch um, okay, I've seen her face a lot, but I've never seen her in, I haven't seen her in person in seven years. Uh or like if we probably, describe the brain. I mean, possibly. I do Wait, did you describe? Well, yeah. Say what you said again. Sorry. If we like describe her frame. Would you be able to point out that it was in fact sync the score? Uh, possibly. Yeah. Can I just do that? Like, yeah, they were... I don't know Alana's frame, but... them. Alina. Yeah, I'm so bad with names. But yeah, what Dane would know is a little bit more limited because Alina was uh, hooded like uh, Mayburn was, you know, kind of obscures, like, her... Like, some of, like, the more defined muscle. But what you... Do you know is definitely something that stands out amongst most people is that she's six foot four. It, she's a six foot four woman. And you do see that she kind of Mayburn does latch on to that a bit. Uh did you did you see her hair color? Or like any like any of her skin? Um no, but I'm pretty sure Raven described them to me because, like, they were like, "Hey, we're look. I'm looking for this person." I was like, "Oh, can you give me a, an account of what they look like?" Uh, 
I guess so that's also I mean, something that's happened. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, she goes, I mean, some of that sounds like her, but not fully. Like, Saintess Core is tall. Like, when she was infused with the power of the goddess, she grew in uh, strength and stature. But after that, she, I don't know. Like, uh, you said that she had brown hair. Saintess Core's hair turned red after being infused. Oh, I'm just describing what... Um, a friend told me, but like I didn't really see their hair because they were hooded. Um, I'm going off of another person's account on that one, off of what they knew them as before. And and you didn't get a look in her eyes or anything? No, they were standing on. I don't think so. Out of character, I don't think so. Um. They were standing, you know, on top of another car. Okay. I mean, it could be her if she, like, took lengths to alter her appearance. But saying just core uh, had sort of, like, really long, bright, really long, really big curly uh bright red hair and she had like a bunch of lines a bunch of like bright red like lines all across her body from a sort of and she kind of had a uh, mythical but it wasn't because she was human at first it, it didn't sort of really sit the way it was supposed to and it wasn't like a like when a warlock it's a mythical where it's sort of like in place, like where it's sort of like placed in there in a way that fits with their body. It's sort of like it kind of like rests pressed up like in like right below the skin, which makes it up, which makes it very much, uh, much more visible than a normal warlock's mythical would be. That way it wouldn't like impair like any sort of like physical ability because usually doing magic sort of eats away at you and makes you very thin which is why you know many witches are very small in stature uh but with uh saintess core she actually grew a lot because that magic was focused on enhancing like muscle strength and put pushing you like far far above even Sometimes an orc's strength, if she really wanted to, though she would risk a great deal of her own health doing that. But, you know, the idea was you use it as many times as you possibly can, and then you let it destroy you. So I guess that's not really off the table. I don't know what to do. Should, could, should I text? I, she said not to call and that she he might not call, but should I just... I feel like... If he doesn't pick up... Uh, if he doesn't pick up, then we get nothing. But if he does pick up, and it is him, I can ask hey, that person who apparently kidnapped you, or, like, hey, that person who, like, grabbed you, was that them? And that's still good information. I will say uh, 
that he dropped you off at your house before that happened. So you knowing that will come off as a bit weird. I feel like I could explain it away with my dogs. Hey. Be like, too. oh yeah, like um, I got a dog from a god, and that I I can basically connect with this dog, and uh, it told me about how you got kidnapped. Yay! Listen, I just wanted to make sure that you knew that way. I didn't feel mean when I had him. No, I, think I remembered. Was- I just wanted to make sure. That's wh- that's why I said apparently. Yeah. Diamond. Party members. Yeah, that sounds good. All right, I call him. Uh, let me get, uh, roll a flat d20 for me. It's a nine. He doesn't pick up. For sure. Oh my god. Alrighty. Roll another d20. We hey. just keep on doing this. Nope. Should I call him again? No, you don't want to seem too desperate. Yeah, it's probably gonna be a bit weird if you keep. Yeah, double call is normal. Triple call? It's a weirdo. I love and hate how you guys are treating this like he's call- like he's calling like a date. Okay, I just text back is like um which <laughs> Sorry, I seem to miss you. <laughs> it is all right. I hope to be able to come to the next service now that Saint Discord has returned. Well, especially now that Saint Discord has returned. Okay, I will keep you updated on if and when you get a text back. So what that ball game. Oh, you watched that too? No, I did uh, not. I mean, All right, we... do you guys want to end the session here since we seem to have come to a halt? Yes. I guess. I, I just what... really do not know what to do. Yeah, I think what we have. Yeah, I think this is a good place do... to end it. Yeah, I think we'll... at this point, I think we kind of just have to wait for OD to get new information. information. So. Or, you know, the other party members. Yeah. Okay. I okay. Right now, Odie has the most direct way of getting information. Is what I meant by that. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody, say bye to Craig. Bye, Craig. Goodbye. Bye, Craig.